Hey guys, Holiday Master here. Today, I have a little video of my Grinch here. Um, I don't know what else, I don't know what to start or say with. Basically, you know, these Grinches, the 2004 versions, are getting old and they don't stand up anymore. At least mine doesn't. There are some out there that are still in good, good, oh my god, I can't talk, good conditions. But with mine, I thought, you know, the, my friend who gave it to me, their neighbor's cat peed on it, so it still kind of smells on the inside, the outside it doesn't, you know, and I'm not going to throw it away until, you know, it's not fixable anymore. And what I mean by that is, I kind of fixed it with the thin thread problem. Um, so, this is, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but, um... I can tell you guys with spray paint, you know, it cracks and chips and everything. Well, I haven't tested it out in the weather yet, so don't take me, you know, for granted or anything or think I'm right. But this type of permanent paint, apple barrel permanent paint, it comes, you know, little bottles, big bottles. I'm out of the greens and I need a little bit more and I need more red too. And I need the color of Max. But that's all I did. I just painted it. Here's the thing. It doesn't chip or anything like spray paint. The thread is still normal thread. You know, it's not coming off on my hands like the spray paint would. Um, the only thing that sucks about this paint is, you know, it's being paint brushed. So, um, thing with it is, it doesn't show up as good as night. Like, I'll show you. I'll turn the lights out and it looks like crap. But to me, honestly, that's okay, because I have a light show going on around it. You know, I have spotlights and everything. I might just leave a spotlight on it. Now, the other thing here was my Grinch was pretty thin, and so is Max. But whenever I painted the bet, the worst spot, spots where the thread was thin, like the whole leg area, the back of them, and this whole head, I got to get the hat yet, too. It's the only part I didn't get, but I ran out of red paint. Um, the only thing with it is, he still wouldn't stand up. So then I tied Max shut, you know, with one of those little twisty ties. I just cut, tied him shut, so no air can go into him, and he stands up perfectly fine. So what I'm either going to do, I'm either going to try and find a paint color for him, like a tannish brown, light brown, and his, uh, ears, because I already painted his nose, his nose is really thin. You can see how I painted it, kinda. Um, and his horn, I painted his horn. The yellow I don't like, because I did the Grinch's shoes and they turned out like crap. Uh, so yeah, I will plug it in and I'll show you. I might need to help it up because I don't even got one string on it. Because, you know, without Max Inflated, it leans. So, yeah. And another thing I did to help it, I'm gonna zipper it. I'll show you. It's not the original fan. I gave it the 2017 10 foot snowman fan. So it's more it's more powerful, you know, it helps it up better. I just switched the fans from this. So this the 10 my 10 foot snowman that holds the present now has the Grinch's fan, but because he's newer, it blows up just fine. So a little bit slower, but just fine. So I didn't care about that. So I was happy to give the Grinch a stronger fan. Because honestly, if you ask me, I'd rather keep the Grinch going than Snowman. Because I can just replace the Snowman. I can replace the Grinch too, but that, that's more expensive. I don't have a lot of money on me. But yeah, like you can see. Basically, the lights show the paint marks. See if he'll stand up on his own. That's what I thought he wouldn't. But, but then you got, you know, the strings attached to him out in the yard. He stands up. But yeah, like, see what I mean? 
I don't like how the face shows up. I mean, in the day, I gotta touch up around here, and then I'm gonna go over it with the black paint again to get the little chips of paint off. And I gotta finish his hands, that's what I need green for. And then the red, I gotta finish um, his arms in the front of him here. And then I wanna get white to uh, mark up where I got. But yeah, so there. The only thing now I'm going to test is to paint Max and see if that helps. If not, I might take Max off or I might give him a small base fan to see what works better. But, um, no, oh, he was slowly falling there. So he doesn't work, you know, 100% like he, I want him to, but he works a lot better. And I'll show you what I mean. See what I mean? I really don't like that, that's the only thing I don't like, but I see it this way, as long as it holds air, and I can put a spotlight or something on him, then he looks okay to me, unless, until I buy a new one, or find a good one, or uh, I find someone that's friends with me that has it, you know, because he, I don't know if you can see, he's slowly falling like he usually does. But, I mean, he went from squishy to almost hard as a rock. Like, I can't really push in on him as much as I did. But then, yeah, here, I'll show you. When you untie Max, it's like an instant, nope, not, not doing it. You'll hear the fan go, hmm. But, see what I mean? Now he doesn't even want to stand with Max inflated. Like, he doesn't even want to stand. So it's definitely got to do something with Max. I mean, I know they're still thin on the Grinch some places. But, um... Yeah, so you guys just saw that. He actually was kind of standing up until I took that thing off Max. So, yeah guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys, um... If this works, like after I paint Max and everything, and I get him to stand up on the, like, inside my house, I get him to stand up without the strings or anything holding them, I'll take them outside, you know, uh, put um, water on them with a hose. Because this stuff's permanent. It shouldn't come off. Because I uh, painted a bird bath with this same paint, all these colors that I've used so far. Uh, and it's still, the people that have it, it looks brand new still. So, so yeah, my next goal is to fix Max. And I can tell he's thin. I know he's thin. So, and if I can't fix Max, like I said, I'll just probably, you know, detach him from up there. And if I have to, if I really, really have to, I'll just cut him off and sew the hole shut. But I don't want to do that until there's no more options. So, yeah, guys, like I said, if you have this type of paint, you know, it works for any inflatable. I mean, so far... It's been work really well for me. It just takes an hour to dry. That's the only problem. Um, but if this actually works, I'm going to do it with a few more inflatables. You know, keep them going a few more years. But, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This, I'm going to probably name this video, like, Update 1 or something of the Grinch. Or something. I don't know. I'll figure a name out. But, alright, guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.